my flight from New Brunswick left to an hour late, so <clears throat> this explains my tardiness. But please don't take it as a sign of disrespect since I absolutely love Su Chi Foundation and everyone involved in it. And I'm so happy to be here, Director General uh, Chen. Welcome to uh, to Toronto, and for thank you for the good work that you're doing between Taiwan and Canada. Uh, uh, Mr. Chang, my good friend Philip Young, and all of you distinguished friends, uh, thank you for the opportunity to recognize the work of a selfless woman who has, in a community of volunteers, singled herself out as an extraordinary volunteer. And I am so happy to be here to do so. But first, let me say that uh, there are certain things I want to say about the Tsuchi Foundation, which is that this is an organization I find very inspiring. This is an organization founded in the deep and ancient Buddhist wisdom, uh, made contemporary uh, through the teachings of Master uh, Cheng Yan, that is giving practical, daily, expression to the sacrificial love of people for others. And this, I think, actually, is the highest and truest expression of uh, religious faith. But in many respects, I think it's an example to all people, especially of uh, Chinese uh, origin, Chinese cultural origin. You know, some have tried to say now for a few decades that a man, in human dignity, uh, in deep spirituality, uh, and in good citizenship. And this is a lesson that you need to teach to all Canadians, and you do teach it, not by the lecturing to people, but by, through your example, through your practical example, and there's no more profound teacher than that. Authentic love being expressed through sacrificial gifts for others. And that's what you do every single day. It's amazing to think now that after, since the foundation of, uh, foundation of Tzu Chi in Canada that you've raised over uh, $38 million and contributed countless, hundreds of thousands of hours, hours of volunteer work. Uh, I know I've seen Tzu Chi working in our communities across Canada. I remember going into a, a store in Ottawa and seeing volunteers collecting money for the victims of the Shetswan earthquake, uh, I think uh, five years ago. And whenever there's a big disaster, you're always there. When there are children who need special help after school, you're there. When there are the homeless who need to be fed in a soup kitchen, you're there. When there are elderly people who are lonely and need some encouragement and some friendship and some companionship, you are there. And so on behalf of the government of Canada, on behalf of our Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Stephen Harper, I say to you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the work that you have done to make Canada a better place. Now, let me turn to acknowledge in partic particular Sophia Lau. She, uh, I think just about everyone in this organization is worthy of special recognition, but we can only give the medal to one person. <laughs> and so I know that Sophia has, has deserved special recognition but I know that she will also receive this medal uh, on behalf of the entire Tsuchi uh, community, and uh, of which she has been an integral part. I know that she has been a remarkable a contributor in so many ways, and we, we thank her for that. Now, as you know, Canada is celebrating the 60th anniversary of the reign of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, our head of state, and all of you who are Canadian citizens, who took the citizenship oath, pledged uh, allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and her heirs and successors. And in doing so, you joined a huge family of people, not just in Canada, but in the United Kingdom, and in uh, 14 other realms uh, around the world uh, that have benefited from the gracious and selfless leadership of this remarkable women who for all of these years, even though she did not choose this job, she cannot leave it, and she has always served uh, the peop her people with dignity and grace and selflessness. And I think in that respect, embodies many of the best virtues of Tzu Chi Foundation, one might say. And so if this is an opportunity during the Diamond Jubilee year uh, for us to express gratitude to the Queen for her service to Canada, uh, which we are doing by in turn recognizing 
uh, 60,000 Canadians out of 35 million who have made extraordinary contributions. And so it is a great pleasure on my behalf, excuse me, it's a great pleasure for me on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, His Excellency the Governor General, and uh, the Right Honourable the Prime Minister to present uh, Sophia Lapdow with uh, the Queen's uh, Diamond Jubilee Medal. Please come forward.